The Zambia Research and Education Network, Zamrin, is a specialized internet service provider dedicated to supporting the needs of the research and education communities in Zambia. It was founded in 2007, operationalized in 2012, and is now registered with PACRA as a private company limited by guarantee. Zamren operates on a closed user group of research and education institutions in the country. In this closer user group setup, Zamren operates as a non-for-profit organization and is equally registered as a public benefit organization. The National Research and Education Network, NREN, also shares its education resources via its dedicated infrastructure and provide advanced information and communication technology, ICT services to its member institutions. With internet being at the core of academic transformation in Zambia, Zamrin has taken the lead by not just providing cost-effective internet services to learning and education institutions, but has also developed unique services like education roaming, edurom, Moodle, and brokering of tablets, which allow for easy virtual engagements between learners and lecturers. We also offer education roaming. This is a service that is only tailored for education and research institutions, not only in Zambia, but beyond Zambia. What it means is that uh, students, researchers, academicians, can have access to internet at no cost wherever the service that is EDROM has been deployed. In the country, we have deployed EDROM in all the 10 provinces of Zambia. And due to COVID-19, we see that e-learning has taken a center stage uh, in ensuring that learners and the education facilitators are able to interact using different platforms. In our case, as Zamre, we are using Moodle. Moodle's and Moodle is an e-learning platform which enables videos, audios and text to be uploaded and this can be accessed by uh, students wherever they are. Stein Mukandawiri is the Chief Executive Officer of Zamrin driving the institution that also provides researchers and students an opportunity to undertake science-driven research which allows them to be part of the global research community in creating innovative solutions for social and economic development. This is being made possible through offering of high-performance computing anchored on aggregation of computing power that yields greater performance. Few institutions in Zambia have deployed high-performance computing to the extent Zamrin has done. We also have high-performance computing. High-performance computing is a data-driven uh, equipment that researchers can use to simulate and carry out their data-driven research works. In Zambia, uh, we do not have high-performance computing to the stage where Zambrin has deployed it. So this can be used not only for researchers that are members of Zambrin, but other researchers, like in the mining industry, they can also use high-performance computing. In its 10 years of experience, Zamrin has connected 141 institutions, among them trades and training institutions, 21 public STEM secondary institutions, and nursing colleges. Zamrin was founded by a group of people, among them Bonnie Kunga, who was its first chief executive officer. With the world turning into a global village, the need to have students in learning institutions access study materials beyond the brick and mortar library through the use of cheaper internet services were among the motivating factors for Mr. Kunga and others to set up Zamrin. We did realize that uh, without access to the internet, most of our students and most of our learners will be having a raw deal. Uh, we're talking about the world being a global village and what actually brings the world together as a global village is access to the internet so that you can actually access or digital resources, education resources worldwide. So you're not limited to the books that you've got in the library and neither are you limited to the uh, resources that are available to you locally. In that, in that I mean physical sense, but you have access to education resources worldwide.
With over 40 years experience in ICT, Mr. Kunga is now Manager Center for Information Communication Technologies, CICT, at Mukuba University in Kitwe on the Copper Belt Province, hired to specifically operationalize the unit. Mukuba University is among the nine of the ten public universities connected to Zamrin, which is considered a game changer in the education sector. The game changer means in the sense that two things. One, the reduction of cost. Two, the increase in capacity. Now, why Zamrin is cardinal is that um, by nature, yeah, education institutions are the biggest consumer and producer of information. If you talk about e-books, who accesses these books more? It's research and education institutions. And who produces books more? Professors are known, it's part of their key, uh, key result areas they need to, to publish. So universities by nature generate massive information and also consume massive information. Mukuba University has over the years transitioned from a secondary school, teacher training college, and now the newest public university, having come into being in 2013, but commencing full-fledged operations in 2021 to churn out teachers. Professor Frank Tyloka is Mukuba University Vice Chancellor. For him, the partnership with Zamrin to provide low-cost internet to the over 2,000 students at the university has been effective. It has been very effective because wherever a student is now at Mukuba, they are able to access that is internet service. When we came here, they used to come and surround the administration block. That is how they used to access internet. But now that is a thing of the past. They will do it wherever they are. Even in the dining room, they are able to access. At the moment, Zamorin, what they are charging, is very cheap and affordable as compared to the other providers. No, we have benefited a lot from Zamorin. For Mukoba University Students' Union leadership, the low cost but efficient internet service provided throughout the campus, including hostels, is key in helping students with their academics. Students are able to access internet even from their rooms, from the library, and everywhere around this campus. To an extent that it makes students really appreciate the work which is being done by the management. The internet provided by Zamrin is helping students in uh, their research and um, uh, their, their, their academics in the sense that uh, most of the times uh, data now is, is on the internet. So every now and then students want to research. In the heart of Luapula province, the provincial capital Mansa, is home to one of Zamrin's clients. Mansa College of Education, established in 1983. The college's initial mandate was to offer primary education teaching courses, but has since expanded to offering secondary school courses and degree programs through the University of Zambia. Mansa College of Education has had other internet service providers in the past, but the deal with Zamrin is a game changer in its operations. Zamrin took it over in 2016, and since then, We've been using uh, the facility for, for Zamrin. The facility has really helped the institution in terms of teaching, in terms of running all sorts of programs in the, in the college. Even when it comes to a uh, collection of fees uh, through GSoft and running on the internet for Zamrin, it has really helped us. Cassidy Sakala is Mansa College of Education Vice Principal. He notes that Zamrin services came in handy for continued engagement with students at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic when physical lessons were banned by government. Our students were able to access our internet here and wherever they could find Zamrin, because the way Zamrin operates, if you are subscribed to Zamrin, in any other institution where you go, you'll be able to access using the credentials from the, the institution where you're coming from. So what we could encourage our students was that wherever you are, you can be able to go, maybe you are in Copper Belt, you go to Kitwe College of Education, you are in Mufurira, you go to Mufurira College of Education, and would be able to interact with the students using online programs. And so on the online programs, we had the, what, what we called video conferencing, 
we could be able to teach certain topics, certain lessons to our students online through conferencing. Students at Mansa College of Education can now easily access study materials on their laptops and phones from any part of the campus, such as hostels and open places. But some students whose classes are far from the router have to be flexible to access it. For the areas that we are living in, we are in the hostel of Lomzi, even here, for example, in the, the area that where we do some studying, now Wi-Fi is there, so we are enjoying a lot because it has, it has brought information, studying materials into our phones. It is for us to access internet in school, but it's kind of difficult it's for those uh, students who are in rooms which are very far from where they have set the uh, internet access equipment. Computer labs at the college are now only full during lessons, as students can access study materials from any part of the campus. ICT lecturer Chewe Mulambia says her team now shares educational links and videos with students as Zamrin allows them to access an array of study materials. The Zamrin resource that we are getting is like the primary resource in terms of um, teaching materials in the college. Why? Because it gives us access to worldwide knowledge. And um, unlike the traditional books that, in the, that are in the library that may even be out of date, uh, we've been able to give them access to uh, modern, up-to-date information. Before you can talk about textbooks, before you can talk about uh, other teaching and learning materials, I think at Mansa College of Education, Zamrin is our primary source of uh, internet, primary source of teaching and learning materials. Malizani Tembo, Mansa College of Education principal notes that management has had to extend internet services to hostels to enhance access to modern study materials as the student populace keeps increasing. The whole premises of our college, not only uh, the hostels, but even classroom areas, there is internet. And this is very helpful for them to facilitate them doing the assignments, uh, do some research. And you may be aware that uh, uh, electronic books uh, can only be accessed if the institution has internet. Chipata, the provincial capital of Eastern Province, has over the years registered fast growth in infrastructure development, which has helped change its outlook. With government promoting skills development, Chipata is home to a famous trade school, Chipata Trades, whose existence dates back to the 1970s. The college offers an array of programs, from agriculture, which includes crop and animal production, fashion designing, construction, and ICT, among others. Chipata Trades Vice Principal, Christopher Zulu, is a happy man, as he checks with students on how their research is going with internet provided by Zamrin, which has also enhanced the school's operations. The operations were a bit difficult, uh, difficult in the sense that uh, communication between us and, and, and the regulators, even the ministry, so sometimes you have to go uh, to take a physical trip, to go to Rusaka to do students' registration, uh, to do the registration for examinations, and, and so forth. But uh, by 2015, we were connected to Zamre uh, for internet services, and we have been online uh, since, such that uh, this has helped us so much. We don't need now to travel to Osaka to do uh, the registration of our students. Emmanuel Mbewe, an ICT student, does not have a laptop, but internet provided in the hostels by Zamren comes in handy in downloading study materials on his phone and using the school computers to write assignments. The school has provided us with the computers, so whatever I do download from my phone, I come here, I put it in a computer, and then I do whatever I want, I go and print it. I don't have enough money to buy a laptop. So even though I don't have a laptop, but I don't find it difficult for me because as long as the internet is there, I can do everything on my phone.
Routers have strategically been placed around the trade school, including hostels for easy access of internet by the 922 students and 52 staff members here. At whatever time of the day and from any position, these students are able to access internet with ease. The access of internet here in my hostel is helping me to do my work, do my assignments. I don't have to go to library like to search for books, this and whatever, but at least it's helping me to do my assignments, my works and whatever. While easy to access the internet allows access to various study materials and similar assignments, ICT lecturer Lucky Bulaya notes that the temptation for plagiarism among students is real, but he has some counsel. Like it is nowadays, everything that we deal with is more of uh, digital and uh, it is more on internet. The students are able to do the research whenever we require them to do any research. And this has made it very easy because some of the things they have to learn them even before we teach them. We're telling the students not to copy and cut, but they should use the language which is applicable for them so that we tend to you know, go away from that plagiarism that is there. But most of the times, if they have to do that, we ask them to even cite. But not every student at Chipata Trades has access to smartphones for research from their hostels. 25-year-old Mark Nurenda, a second-year student studying general agriculture, is among the 30% who have no smartphones here. Despite having been introduced to the internet about two years ago, research in farm engineering, agriculture, and animal production using the Zamrin internet has given Mark a glimmer of hope in helping change the farming systems in Lumezi, where he hails from. Yes, this is my first time to access an internet here at the school because where I came from, there's no internet. Yeah, so it helps me to understand better some things which I didn't know, but here I've known through internet. Kaoma College of Nursing and Midwifery is one of the five public nursing schools in Western Province, helping to train registered nurses and midwives who are key in health service delivery. Established in 2016, the school's growth from 50 students to about 451 has constrained the library. However, provision of low-cost but effective internet by Zamrin here has turned out to be the answer. So with the coming of Zamri, it has really helped because uh, the students are able to access the information that they need, especially when they need to do their assignments. Even for studies, they are able to access most of the, the material that they need online. And also it has helped with the staff when they need to prepare uh, the lectures, they are able to get some information online. Kaoma College of Nursing and Midwifery Acting Principal Naomi Piri further notes that the institution is now working on establishing an online portal for easy access to study materials. While lecturers use the internet to prepare lessons, for students, extension of internet to their hostels allows them to closely follow videos on nursing procedures even in the confines of their hostels. Having access to Wi-Fi within the school has really been helpful in terms of research assignments and like we have procedures that we watch online, like OSC procedures, they really help just within the school because you won't have to move anytime I want to research something, I want to watch anything, I'll just be on my phone, on my bed, just there. It's very easy because I won't have to move from my hostels to come here. Zamrain has helped students in the aspect of accessing books online and also accessing other procedures even online, even uh, where issues of online uh, learning is concerned. Such gatherings at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic were banned by government for fear of spreading the disease. With the coming, on, uh, coming in of COVID-19, I think the school, like any other school in Zambia, had, uh, had to close for, I think, twice. And uh, 
initially it was difficult until Zamlin came on board. They, they helped us uh, set up a, a lot of uh, some uh, online platform in which we were able to continue teaching our students even from, the, from their homes. We were able to deliver lessons online, prepare lessons, prepare videos and send them to them online. And they were able to give us uh, feedback and that uh, helped us to the effect that uh, we didn't uh, lag so much behind. For Stanley Mudenda, a lecturer of pediatrics and child nursing at Kaoma College of Nursing and Midwifery, administering lessons virtually turned out to be challenging until interventions by Zamarin. It has made things easier for us as teachers and our students. Uh, previously, I think it was difficult even to trust the internet. You could start searching for something on the internet and it would cut in the mid before you could even get what you wanted. But with the coming on board of Zamri, I think uh, the internet is reliable. We can, we can trust it. And uh, most of our students are able to accept, access it without difficulties. So if, uh, even as, as tutors, I think uh, we do a lot of research. We search for a lot of information online for us to give our students uh, the most up-to-date information. The Livingston Institute of Business and Educational Studies, LIBES, has become the latest tertiary institution to have internet extended to student hostels. Minister of Technology and Science Felix Mutati, under whose mandate ICT is for, graced the occasion, noting the extension of internet to hostels at Libes is a landmark occasion as internet is indispensable and a bedrock for driving social and economic change. Today we have come on the landmark occasion on an occasion where Lipes has partnered with Zamre to deliver internet, high-speed internet. And what this is saying is that internet is indispensable, is a necessity, it is the bedrock that will drive transformation that creates impact, that creates change. The launch coincided with Zamrin's annual general meeting at the Avani Hotel, where various member institutions gathered. Government at the opening of the AGM was represented by Ministry of Education Permanent Secretary Joel Kamoko, who did not mince his words. Government takes special then cognition of such initiatives as yours in the provision of internet to higher education institutions, which complement government's efforts. The outcome of this workshop, hopefully, therefore, will determine the pivotal role these higher institutions of learning will play in ensuring that internet becomes a homegrown thing. You all have to agree with me that it is almost practically impossible to have an efficient online learning program without a robust ICT policy in any institution. The Zamrin Board used the AGM to solicit government for incentives to address the high cost of internet in Zambia for the benefit of its members and students. The first kind of workshop that Zamrin is hosting to capacitate its heads of member institutions with knowledge and skills in areas of cyber security as well as ICT policy formulation. Uh, Permanent Secretary Sir, as you are aware worldwide, cyber security has become a critical, very critical in protecting infrastructure, data and information for organizations. Cyber attacks in all organizations globally are becoming more frequent, targeted, and more complex. In the year 2021, cyber attacks were predicted to inflict damages totaling uh, over $6 trillion globally. ICT personnel from member institutions also had an opportunity to hone their skills on the sidelines of the AGM, in line with advancements in ICTs, bringing them up to speed with the latest developments. 
The training also delved into management of vast academic resources that can be accessed online for the benefit of the students, as trainees also exchanged ideas and experiences from their various bases across the country. To crown the AGM, participants rode into the open waters of the mighty Zambezi River, joining many who wanted to see the wildlife in the surrounding parks and enjoy watching the sun going down the horizon. A gala dinner, music and dance marked the end of the AGM celebrating miles scored in 10 years of Zamrin's existence. Various deserving institutions and individuals were awarded. During the COVID-19 pandemic, immigrants in Eastern and Southern Africa looked to Zamrin to learn how the immigrant quickly made e-learning accessible through, through the provision of mono learning management portals in Zambia. The list goes on and on. And today, Zamrin is among the mature, although the CEO was saying they are a teenager, I think they are a mature and innovative entry in the whole of Africa. Zamrin is at the forefront of transformation of Zambia's education sector through enhancing access to unlimited study materials using the subsidized internet for its member institutions. With Zamrin's fulfilling 10 years in operations, the Research and Education Network's Chief Executive Officer, Stan Mukandawira's focus is a time when students will access internet for almost nothing. A number of services that will be will be offering going forward. We're talking about uh, brokering uh, Microsoft products. We want those to be consumed by educational research institutions. Issue of software piracy. It's a bygone thing because there's one institution that brokers for them. So going forward, we want also to broker for Microsoft products. They will have these at affordable prices. We're talking about the digital library, which is affordable. We're talking about devices. We are brokering. So those that will become members of Zamrin, they will benefit from this brokerage that Zamrin is undertaking. Zamrin is also partnering with Astria Learning, a leading U.S. education technology company, in a multi-million dollar project to start manufacturing tablets for students locally. When we're talking about EduROM, we're talking about taking internet to student hostels that we are achieving. But there is another component, which is the gadgets device. And this is a big gap that can facilitate or can enhance digital transformation. Without gadgets, students cannot, or we cannot talk about digital transformation. Affordability of these devices is another thing. So Astria wants to partner with us in establishing a plant to manufacture tablets and also laptops for students. As Zamrin expands its tentacles across the country, the expansion includes construction of its own office space within the University of Zambia grounds where it is currently operating from. The 10 years of Zamrin's existence has seen it take the lead in transforming the education sector with closures necessitated by global pandemics like COVID-19 not affecting studies because of online platforms like Edgerom and Modo rolled out by Zamrin. Students studying at institutions affiliated to Zamrin now no longer have to worry about data bundles because they are paying subsidized fees way below what commercial entities are charging for unlimited access within their campus and at any institution on Edgerom across the globe.